Hello, in this video, we are going to derive or estimate a linear demand curve from a limited set of information. So in general, a linear demand curve is given by Q equals A, some, some constant here, minus B times P. P is the price and Q is the quantity demanded. What we want to do in this problem is figure out what A is and what B is. Um, so in equilibrium, we're told that the equilibrium price is 200 and the, excuse me, and the quantity is 50. So in equilibrium, where demand intersects supply, the price is 200 and the quantity is 50. We're also told that equilibrium, the price elasticity of demand is given by minus 0.5. So the first thing we're going to do in the setup is figure out what B is. What, what number does B take on? So recognizing that the price elasticity of demand is given by the derivative of the demand curve with respect to price multiplied by price divided by quantity, we can figure out what B equals. So the first half of this elasticity of demand equation is just a derivative, and the derivative of any linear demand curve is just going to be this parameter in front of the price term, in this case, minus B. So what I'm going to do now is start substituting things into this elasticity of demand formula. So what do we know? We know that the first half of this is minus B, so that's what I have down here. The second half I'm just going to rewrite. It's price divided by quantity. And now I'm going to set this price elasticity of demand formula equal to minus 0.5, because that's what we're told is happening in equilibrium. The next step is just going to do some substitution. Here, uh, we're going to substitute in for P, we're going to put in $200. And for Q, we're going to plug in 50. Again, that's information that you would have uh, to start this problem, what's going on in equilibrium. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is going to simplify uh, the two minuses here. We've got a minus on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation. They'll cancel. So we have B equals, or B multiplied by 200 divided by 50 equals 1 half. Taking 200 and dividing it by 50, that'll give us 4. So just from the last screen here, we now have 4B equals 0 0.5. Dividing both sides through by 4, we get B equals 0 0.125. So that's what B is going to take on in this linear demand curve. And that's what I have in this step here. So plugging in 0.125 in for B, we have our linear demand curve. Not quite done, but... We know that Q equals A minus 0.125P. Our next step is to figure out what A equals. And we're going to do that by re-evaluating this demand equation at the equilibrium price and quantity. So we're going to plug in for P, we're going to plug in $200. For, for Q, we're going to plug in 50. And that's what I do in this step here. So Q is 50, P is 200. And now it's just a matter of solving for A. So adding 25 to both sides, A equals 75. We can plug that back into our linear demand curve. And we have our estimated linear demand curve, Q equals 75 minus 0.125P. We could do a similar thing for supply. If we knew what the elasticity of supply was, we could derive the linear supply curve, the linear upward sloping supply curve. Um, but uh, I don't have that information here. Maybe I'll do that in another video. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful.